the hostel life is like. You actually come, you meet great people from all over the world. So, yeah, man, I just met you today, right, brother? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we really went. Met today, welcome. You know, uh, Minnesota. Yeah. My homie Miguel, you guys have seen him in the hey other guys, video too, as well. And Miguel just uh, prepared some nice fresh guacamole from the market. Yep. Did, did we go to the store and buy this? Was this already prepared? You, you, no. you made it, right? From scratch. Yeah, we made it from scratch. From scratch, yeah. Uh, I'll post that video we got too, as well. All fresh. Yeah, and this is, we're sitting around like a family, like what it's supposed to be. Family meal, we haven't known each other for a long time, but breaking bread and having a meal together too as well. We got something special for you today too. Yeah. We also have fresh squash grasshoppers over here. Chapulines. Chapulines. Chapulines, okay. All right, these are really good for you, all healthy, right? Oh yeah. All right, it's not like you're processing meat, you already know what's inside of it. No. And um, you said you, you tried one earlier, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead. Talk for the camera because they're not going to believe me. Cause, and tell me what you think. The first right? time I tried some first time, right? earlier. Right, based off my recommendation. No, it, yeah, exactly. You know, I know most of you guys are scared and to try that. I just, I just had to quiet down my mind and taste it just to see for myself how it tastes, and it tastes way different than I, what I thought. It tastes really good. Actually. Yeah, like I told you, it's, you're not gonna get like blood flakes, all that stuff nope. as well. No, it's, it's crunchy. It's nice, good. It's seasoned well. Uh, like chips. Yeah, just like chips. But better for you. Like this is not like. Probably all protein. Yeah. Don't get any fat in, nothing processed, no, you know, what you're getting as well. Too. Right, and we got it right off, you know, right off the street, off the block, you know, you, you trust how to get it, and it's cheap too as well. So right. we're gonna add these to the tacos. Go ahead, brother. You wouldn't know unless you try it. You wouldn't know, you so. You wouldn't know how it tastes. Yourself tortilla, got fresh guacamole, fresh lime, everything, you got a nice cold beer, man. Some chips, right? We'll, we'll, I told you guys, get some beer. Someone was hungry. Yeah, and beautiful weather, man. Yeah, I, 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 let's let's I prepare was this. Hungry. All right, so you said put the this first. First, okay. Here is your first. All right. I don't know how many you want or how big you want. The one taco will just go there because we still got a whole bunch more. All right, then what? Then put a little bit more. Come on, it's hot, Molly. Just get a just roll it. Now roll it yourself. Go ahead and roll it up. You guys want to roll it up? You know, yes. before you say, guys, the chapulines, the grasshopper, they put them overnight. Why did they do that for? Because they got shit. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Gotcha. Right. We all did it, right? Get rid of it all. All of it needing all for a house, for a day. Okay. So they keep them up without water, without food, with anything. Mm -hmm. So the grasshopper, grasshopper will throw over it. Okay. So now it's clean. Yeah. You know what this is? This is a bag of locusts. Uh-huh. That's what locusts is. Locus hey, man. Is a of, uh, we went to 2020. Good. Isn't that one of, like, the, you know, yeah. deadly things or that's supposed to happen? Mm -hmm. The signs of the end of the earth. Mm -hmm. You know? We're starting a brand new year, man. Now we're eating them. Now we're eating them, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Instead of them to us, we're going hey, to eat them first. Yeah. Now we're starting them. All right, man. This is so good. That's kind of like... Enjoy this meal, man. Thank you. Let's check it out. So, guys, after tasting the grasshoppers, I went on a market tour through the hostel. I got to explore several different markets, and every single market, all of these markets are regulated through the government to make sure that all products that come through here and that are sold here is all locally sourced throughout the city of Mexico. Although filming in these markets was not permitted, I tried my best to capture some of the great moments. Aquí los tengo. Va, muchas gracias. Thank you. All right. So, this is a little bit of 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 a
ja, het ding is, uh, they uh, take out the, the kernels of the coin and they boil them. Dat is wel true. Ja, en die zorgt met mayo, cheese, lime, salt en een beetje cheese. Ja, het is een beetje traditioneel, dus als je het wilt proberen. Er is ook een... Your own corn was actually first domesticated in Mexico. You know, we, we believe in the, in the year 3000 BCE. Although the Peruvians claim that there's some archaeological evidence that say that it was domesticated in Peru. But uh, since then, uh, corn has been you know, the cornerstone of directly all diet in the Americas. You know, uh, from, from Canada, from uh, you know, the border of the US Canada to uh, the point of Argentina. Yeah, corn is basically uh, the linchpin that, ho that holds the American diet together. Yeah, in Mexico we grow almost uh, 40 varieties of corn. The most common one being this one, the white variety, that I believe is a bit more earthy and less sweet than the yellow variety that's most commonly eaten in America. Uh -huh. We also have a bit more, a bit the more famous blue variety. Yeah, if you have seen like sometimes with blue tortillas or blue quesadillas in the street, uh, in the street stalls, yeah, that, that corn is not dyed. You know, that strain of corn is just naturally blue. Yeah, so the tortillas, the tlacoyos, the quesadillas, all all turn naturally blue because of the natural color of that strain of corn. Yeah, like it. What do you think of it? Delicious, yeah, it's really good. I like it. <laughs> then what's it called? Esquite. Esquite? Yeah. Esquite. Yes. They also can tell you, you know, the corn directly on the cob and you eat it, you know, you know like that. But with the same ingredients, lime, salt, mayo, cheese, and a bit of chili. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how, how are you going this one? Just a little You right? Want to try? Yeah, I asked for the not so spicy chili because I know yeah some people are not really have the stomach for it. Right. <laughs> yeah, want a napkin? Napkins, napkins. <laughs> wanna hold on to it? That's for you guys. You want to share it? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's sticky, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Might as well go in, right? <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's crazy. We'll do it. I'm not gonna throw it away, right? So yeah, you gotta, gotta eat it. <laughs> no, guys, if you don't uh, if you don't want it, I'm more than happy to give it for I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna hold it all day. That's <laughs> yeah, it is high. Yeah, you like it? Yes. No way, I hope the napkins are going to want it, but let's continue. Yeah. Hello, everybody yeah. follow him. Yeah, he's, yes. he's the most friend. important guy in the group now. <laughs> People like me now, you
warthog and some stalls at the back also sell uh, crocodile and lion meat. Yeah. Lion? lion. Yeah. <laughs> yes, of course, this isn't like brought for Africa or anything. These are mostly uh, grown in kind of like uh, farms and ranches in northern Mexico, where you know, with a lot to do the kind of thing, it's kind of, kind of in a gray area, to be honest with you. Yeah, but uh, you'll see, like, there's some stalls at the, at the back that sell burgers, and you just can choose what animal you want to your burger made of. You know, uh, was it hedgehog, ostrich, alligator, or beef if you prefer it, or lion if you want some. Yeah? Vamos, let's go. You want to try it? Try lion. Try it. Who's eating the lion burger? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go. You heard him. Who is here is getting the lion burger, the ostrich burger, all of these wild type of uh, exotic animals. The only way to get protein in ancient Mexico was with fish, but in Mexico City being well, Mexico's ship line at the time was a bit far from the coast, it wasn't that easy to get, and venison, but you had to actually hunt that. Uh, so probably the, the best way to supplement your diet with proteins, uh, they have to begin eating this. Yeah, some serve some different edible box that they discovered over the years. Uh, these are chapolines, this is a type of uh, a type of cricket. Yeah, and they're mostly uh, fried and uh, salted and limed. And actually, these are actually very healthy for you. I mean, they have really discovered they're like 99% protein. Uh -huh. So they have in Mexico, they have become quite popular, you know, with the gym crowd and, uh, and bodybuilders. Yeah, because they are just so high in protein. They're basically only protein. Yeah. So I want to see who's feeling bold now. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah. Is this different? It is. It's the same. They're all the same. Oh, they're all the same. They're all the same. Yeah. They're just crunchy and right, they, they, they mostly taste of their spices that are spiced on with, you know, lime, yeah. salt, a bit of chili. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they don't really taste of anything. Yeah. I don't like the apple. Yeah. That's so, so can I you just don't think about it, you just have to like <laughs> eat it and yeah. that's yeah, it. Yeah, one more one. You just need something to watch it down with the coke because it was a good idea, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but good, no. Like you said, just, yeah, one more. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> I need my protein for the day. <laughs> yeah, they're they're okay. rarely eaten on their own. It's not like you eat them like popcorn, right? They're yeah. mostly spring on top of other dishes. You know, mostly quesadillas. Sometimes there are uh, crickets falling in them. Or else it's very common uh, to guacamole to have just some crickets uh, spring on top of them. You know, to give it this kind of uh, flavor and protein boost, uh, you know, uh, to the dinner. Yeah. Like them? Uh, yeah, really good. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Muchas gracias. All right, gracias. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Ciao. Oh, this is the place I, I told you about. Chili Shell Burger. But I, this is all the list of the meats you can choose your burger from. You know, lion, lamb, ostrich, beef, blue powder, crocodile, head, warp, venison, rabbit, or duck. Oh, that's not armadillo. 
why not an armadillo? Look like Ostrich, ostrich, I don't like a half price. Well, I don't dare to eat lion. <laughs> ostrich is good. I've had it before. Oh, I just think it will be like taste very like metallic, like no, very no, blood like. No, 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 no. yeah. It's very, it's a very clean meat too. Like there's oh. not a lot of fat to it because it's a pretty uh, predominantly muscle. Oh. Yeah, you know what I mean, so it's really good. Yeah, that yeah, makes so. sense. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this one, have uh, small restaurants in the, in, uh, inside of them. Yeah, and th this this tall markets tend to be particularly good food. Yeah, because most of the food, uh, most of the ingredients, you know, are sourced from the market itself. So you know they're very fresh. This is kind of like uh, a very um, like street food taking you up to the next level. Especially in this market, all these stalls are particularly good. I recommend them a lot. Right there. Eh? must produce property. Uh, but the Mexican government wanted to protect you know, uh, these traditional artisans, so they began founding markets like this one, that uh, you know, consumers would know that the product that is being sold here is actually genuine, a handicraft product being made by Mexican artisans, and not from a cheap knockoff product mass produced in some factory overseas. You know? Let's get in.